Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a cherry pony. Call me like a cherry pony. Your boy done switched up on you. Call me like a cherry pony. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time to this channel, around that subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you will be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to this great, 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 great family. Now that your partners have some things that we do. And we do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, 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 like, and share, and go on for the team. Comment, like, and share, and go on for the team. Comment, like, and share, and don't forget to comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Don't forget to don't forget to comment, like, and share. Okay, you got checks out. We got to pray, and we're gonna get us into goodness. Here we go. Hey man, how y'all doing today? How you doing today? How you doing today? Over to the side. Lapin is in the building, baby. <laughs> Lil Ben has died. Start kissing him today. Y'all, I was just playing with one Legion. She always get mad at me and saying, What a Lil Ben song at? What a Lil Ben song at? So, also, you guys, I don't have my Lil Tots house, but if you would like your bottle, look wherever top screen, dress some blue, hit that link, and right there, you can get some Lil Tots house. And you left some Okay, you got some date for the food. But hey, we got some cheesy, 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 cheesy meatloaf. That's what we got. We got a meatloaf over here. We got some loaded, um, Mashed potatoes over here in the middle with they got cheese, chives, bacon, and all of it. And over here we got us uh, some squash and zucchini. That's what we got, y'all. That's what we got. And let's get to eating. Let go. Squash and zucchini first. There you go. Mmm. 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 They got hot there. I'm gonna get some of the heat out of there, honey. Mmm. They got a hot. Y'all, these were some of the biggest um, squash I had seen in that fight a little while, honey. It was, it was, it was. So, y'all, I'm going to put some pepper on the potato. We were going to do our um, 100K uh, meal today. I told you we were going to do it on Sunday. I changed my mind because I just realized, y'all, our anniversary. Hey, our anniversary is Tuesday. Our anniversary is on Tuesday, so I decided I would wait until then to do the celebration for our 100K as far as the meal goes. So be tuned for that. Oh, I ain't putting no pepper on my potatoes. Y'all know I like plenty of pepper on my taters. I like plenty of pepper on my taters, honey. I do. Yes, I do. So our official 100K meal will be on Tuesday. Okay, y'all with some of the taters. Mm, get you some. They good. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm-hmm. My God, it's heaven. Mm, 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 mm. 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 Loaded taters. I love loaded mashed potatoes. I do. Normally, y'all know I have all kinds of stuff in here. I have salad dressing and some more. Mm-hmm. But today, I just got the bacon, some chai, mm, and some cheese. Mm-hmm. Bacon, chai, and some cheese, honey. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I weather don't know what it want to do. Um, Pooh Stank was saying a while ago. It's, oh, I saw you almost fail. Hey, glory. Hey, glory. Pooh Stank was saying a while ago, it's 38 degrees outside, but the sun is hot. <laughs> uh huh. Y'all just get into this meatloaf, huh? I'll get you a bite of that meatloaf. Let me show it to you on this side. Hey, glory, 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 glory. Hey, mm hmm. Mm, mm, mm. 
Mmm. Mmm. It's cheesy. It is. Mmm. -hmm. It's cheesy. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Cheesy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But boy, is it good. Boy, is it good? Mm -hmm. That meatloaf is good, baby. Yes, sir. Y'all see that cheese just fall off there? Mm -hmm. mm. So, we still dealing with crazy weather, y'all. For sure. Mm. So, anyway, y'all, this is the day that the Lord has made. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. And we should rejoice and be glad in it. I got a little sour cream up here, y'all, too. For my taters. A little sour cream. A little sour cream. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. And for us to be glad and rejoice in child. Mm-hmm. If you sit down. Mm -hmm. Or have sat down, or preparing to sit down to a Sunday dinner, you should be telling the Lord thank you. If you're looking at this video, you already have a reason to tell the Lord thank you. You already got a reason. If just as you're looking at this video, you got a reason to tell the Lord thank you. You sure do. You sure enough do. If you're looking at this video, who the meatloaf? Jesus take the wheel. Jesus take the wheel on the meatloaf. Uh, mm -hmm. Y'all look at it. Look at that cheese and meatloaf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That means all good. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. If you can hear my voice, you should be telling the Lord thank you. Mm-hmm. If you can hear my boy, I can read my lip, you should be telling the Lord thank you. Mm-hmm. You so sure? I'm so thankful. I really am. Um, mm. I tell you all the time, we don't think about the goodness, the mercy, you know, mm, mm, and the favor that God puts up on us in our lives day to day. We don't think about it enough, y'all. A lot of us don't. I went through myself in that too now. I do. Even though I do try to keep my mind focused on making sure that the Lord knows that I'm thankful for all that he has done for me, all that he is doing for me, and all that he will continue to do for me. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I really don't. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I just wonder sometimes do you think if you had 24 solid hours and you didn't do nothing but 24 hours but tell the Lord thank you? Y'all, that still would be enough. Uh uh. If you took 24 hours, it wouldn't be enough. God is so good, y'all. He is so good. I'm just thankful for him being what he is to my life, in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm so thankful. I really am. Like I, I told y'all before, there's a great gift. Um that my family, my mother, my father, my grandparents, that was the one thing, that was the greatest gift that they could have ever given me, was making sure I knew who the Lord was. Mm-hmm. I was watching a program, <laughs> as the old folks say, I was watching a program on TV, um, just on last evening. Um, 
you know what? You know how they have those. I ain't gonna say off the wall, but like the reality shows that are maybe not as mainstream as um, other ones may be. Um, ooh, excuse me, y'all. But you know, they still have value there on TV. They're good. <clears throat> Some of them, anyway. Mm. Mm -hmm. But I was watching. I don't forgot what the name of it is right now, y'all. But whatever it was. This man, his wife had passed, and when his wife passed, now, now this is reality TV now. I ain't talking about no movie. And he had two daughters. Mm, mm, mm. I think one of them was eight, and the other one was three or four. Maybe it was three when she, when it started and she turned four. But that he had to raise, and you know, with working and you know, trying to support him and this and that, and getting to school and this and that, this and that. You know, he, he fell down on his luck and lost his job. And mm, mm. but there was something about his disposition that let me knew he was gonna be okay. Regardless. No matter what was put in his path, no matter what obstacles he was going through, he loved his children, and he believed that God was going to bring him to it. Mmm. It was a wonderful thing. It caught my attention, and I was so engaged, not because of the fact that it was just overly interesting, it was because it was the thankfulness that he had, um, you know, for the Lord, for what he was going through. I mean, <laughs> y'all, God is just a good God. Yes, he is. Amen. Yes, indeed. And we see this stuff every day. Y'all, we see this stuff every day. People's lives changed and uh, doctors being able to perform surgeries and do things that um, the human mind would never been able to think of, mm. you know, 10 years ago. These diseases and stuff out here that used to be a death wish. Now, honey, mm, they got commercials on TV about stuff, honey. Mm -hmm. um, you know, back in the day, diseases and stuff that you wouldn't dare let come out of your mouth. You know, or talk about, like I still myself, still don't talk about uh, the big C. You know, I don't. I have had some relatives that have passed from cancer, and it's not something that I, you know, just, I've seen, I have seen firsthand um, the destruction that. You know what it does to your body. So, I don't talk about that much. You know. But, um, you know, just even in that, you know, med you know, medicine and technology and science has come so far. Um, the a lot of these things that you used to would hear a person had or gotten or whatever, you automatically would be like, uh, uh, uh. you know, mm. you know, they like go. You know, that's how you used to think about so many things before the advance of time and science and technology. Mm-hmm. All these computers and things that my jets and this and that and this that and the third and electric cars and Baby, I got some everything now. You know, I predicted and told y'all before, it ain't going to be too many. Y'all, it ain't another 15, 20 years in this world. We ain't going to have to drive ourselves no more. For real. Cars going to be flying all through the air and all kinds of stuff. Things going to be going on. That's going to happen. Uh, like, you know, like the Jetsons. That kind of stuff going to happen, y'all. That kind of stuff is going to happen. <clears throat> uh, 
I'm just glad to be here, even to uh, <clears throat> I love y'all. <clears throat> Just with the advancement of how things have came through my life, how I can just say thank you, God. You know, um, because I remember coming up, y'all. Um, I was a teenager before cell phones and stuff like that came along. You know what I mean? That kind of stuff wasn't a part of our life back then. Uh uh. Baby, you were still on rotary. When a long cord go all through the house, when you did get a, a smaller base firm from the dog store or something, another Walmart. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. For real. Folks wouldn't walk around with no cell phones. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. When I got my first cell phone, honey, I was in college. You know what I'm saying? Hey. I had to come, had I come home for college? Yeah. Matter of fact, I had them come home from college. Um, when I had my own personal cell phone, you know, no, I wasn't. I was in college. Because I remember that nights and weekend stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I was in college. The cell phone didn't come out to be independent of cars or bags and stuff like that until, you know, like I said, I was in high school or something or something else. Now, baby, these kids, baby, these kids couldn't make without a cell phone. They couldn't. Mm-mm. How you take that cell phone with them, how they think you done uh, uh, back killed them? I mean, fan. But what I have seen in my life, me, myself, and I, you know, I've seen people be healed. I've seen people, I'm a witness myself. How, when I first got hurt, my husband will tell you, they told me I would never walk again. I wouldn't get back up on my feet no more. I was going to be wheelchair bound. The best I was going to be able to do was, you know, like get up on a walker or something and like move from couch to couch or something. You know, I wasn't be able to step and take a shower no more. I wasn't be able to do none of these things that the Lord sent me through it. Mm-hmm. It just made me think about over there in Psalms. Somewhere over there, Psalm 26, 27, somewhere over there. And somewhere down there, song it's saying, I will see the goodness. The goodness of the Lord. Hey. Yes, sir. I will see the goodness of the Lord. In this earthly life. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I just thank God. I'm a witness. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. I will see the goodness of the Lord. Right here. Mm-hmm. You don't know how many times you have walked across or walked by or met and shook the hands of one of God's blessings and just don't know it. You have no idea. Mm-hmm. You just indeed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You don't know how many times you saw on the TV and you're looking at God's divinity. And what he done done. And how he done brought somebody out. You just never know. You got to look for it. And the, the thing of looking for it is telling him thank you every day. So that he can reveal some of these things to you. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. You got to tell the Lord, thank you, honey. So he can reveal some of these signs and want to sit you while you down here. Mm-hmm. I forgot what verse it is. But it's over there in town. They say you're going to be able to be a witness. Mm-hmm. It's all do. You're going to be able to see what the goodness of God. And it's earthly life. It's earthly walk. Mm-hmm. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I better quit before I get stirred up. Y'all know. I have the ability to get stirred up sometimes. Mm hmm Yes, indeed. All I'm going to show y'all is everything going to be all right. Mm-hmm. Everything is going to be all right. You just got to believe in it. You got to have faith in it. You know what I mean? So God can work that thing out and work that work through that faith in your life. You got to have faith in it. 
Everything gonna be all right. He said it would. He can't tell you no lie. Mm-hmm. Everything gonna be all right. All right. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right, y'all. Yes, it is. I mean, a lot of times people, we as people, we don't think about when we leave our house, even if it's just go across the street to the grocery store, across the street to the bus stop, God had to let you make it there. Believe it or not, in the very same spot, that very same path that you took, it's been somewhere, some somebody down the line that took that very same path and they make, they make it home. Whether it, be, it was a car wreck or got ran over by a horse or they got shot down in the Western, Western days or it was somebody that took that same path that you took that didn't make it home, got kidnapped or, you know, there's a lot of things that go on in the world that God lets you see your way through it. You got to tell the Lord, thank you, y'all. You got to tell the Lord, thank you for what he do every day. Well, that's something there. If you're not in the habit of doing that, that's something that you ought to uh, enlist in. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. It's either when you go to the grocery store and somebody tell you, um, I'll take care of that for you. Or oh. somebody walk up and give you something. It's so easy for us to say thank you to materialistic or monetary, uh, things that have monetary value or things that we need and want for people to give them to us. You know what I'm saying? But you got to understand it was God that put it on their heart to do that for you, whether you ask for it or not. It's easy to tell that person thank you. But what about the person that, 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 that allowed you to be here to have such wants? Hey, baby, baby, baby it's going to be all right, though. Mm -hmm. You got to have that faith and know this is going to be all right. No matter what, that's why I was saying the other day, no matter what storm God brings my way, no matter what obstacle he puts in my path, no matter what hills, hollers that he put in my way, I'm still going to tell the Lord thank you. Because if he don't do nothing else for me the rest of my life, he done already done enough. He has. He done brought me this far. I just have the faith and understanding and know that he didn't bring me this far to leave me right here. I got a little while more to travel. Hey, he still got work for me. It's going to be all right, y'all. I don't care what your situation is. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what country you're in. I don't care if you're on a bridge. I don't care whatever's going on in your life. I don't care even if you are the abused child right now. If you are the abused wife or you are in a terrible relationship, an abusive relationship, if you are in, I don't care what your situation is. It may seem as gloom as it could be right now, but you got to have the faith you got to have the faith to know that it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. All right. Hey, it's going to be all right. All right. All right. Y'all, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. It is. I'm telling you, some of them in Psalms, y'all, the Bible say you will see the goodness of the Lord while you still here. Hey, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right, y'all. It's going to be all right. Whatever your day is going, whatever you got going on in your day right now today, that may not be where you want it to be. It may not be what you think it should be. It may not be what you believe it should be. Just keep the faith that everything is going to be all right. And before you know it, when you come out on the other side of that thing, you will say, lips told me. Lips told me. God assured me and God promised me. I just had to remember it and have the faith to walk on, get to the other side of what I'm going through right now. Because it's going to be all right. All right, it's going to be, uh, y'all, hey, my say, hey, hey, it's going to be all right, y'all. It's going to be all right. I promise you it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Like I said, I've been there. I have been there where time seemed like <laughs> it ain't going to be all right, but it is. It is going to be all right. I made it through each and every one of them things to be sitting here and talk to you. And there's been some times when I felt like the hole couldn't get no deeper and the room couldn't get no darker. But I'm still here talking to you today, letting you know that it's going to be all right. Now, I'm going to get up out of here. Now, I don't know who needs to hear that. I don't know who needs to hear that, but somebody did. Because it's going to be all right. All right. Just keep your head up. Keep your head up. Keep your head up and keep the faith. Because the one thing that God can do, he cannot fail. 
Okay. I love you guys so, so much. I truly do. And I'm going to get up out of here. Okay. So I'm my Lily Jan. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. We truly appreciate each and every one of you because you didn't have to be here. You would have chosen to be anywhere else in the world, but you chose to be right here with us. And we love you for it. Mm -hmm. So I'm my distant Lily Jan. Round and round we go. Hey, round and round we go. All right. It's going to be all right. Y'all, it's going to be all right. Okay. I'm going to get up out of here. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you still have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're ready to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye, bye. Mwah. Y'all, for real though, if you haven't subscribed yourself to put yourself in the headspace of thinking and staying in the headspace, in the headspace of telling the Lord thank you on a daily basis when you wake up all through the day, every time you think about it when you get ready to go to bed at night, you need to be subscribing to that. I can't say you need to be because most of you guys are grown. But all I'm going to say is there is no other. I will ever treat you like the Father himself. There is no other that can ever do more for you than the Father himself. There is no other, hey, there is no other that will ever be faithful and stand by you like Jesus Christ himself. There is no other, hey, that could have brought you to where you are today than Jesus Christ himself. There's no other, there's no other that could have laid down his life for your sins but the one that did. There was no other that could have made that bridge between us here on earth and the Father himself for us to go home and live with him, but Jesus Christ himself. There was no other hey, that gave you the activity of your limbs, but him. There was no other that gave you the sight where you can see, the ears where you can hear, the, 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 the mind process for you to even understand what I'm saying. There was no other but him. There was no other that could have created the, the waters and the land and the seas and the mountains and the earth and the sky. There was no other that could have done it but him. Hey! There was no other. So why not tell him thank you? No matter what your situation is, no matter what you're going through, no matter how bad it seems right now, it could be worse. It always could be worse. And that's the thing when we get to complain and moan and groan and won't tell the Lord thank you. Don't have the faith and understand that we're going to come out on the other side of this thing in a better situation because he made it all for our good. How dare us be in that? In that that's it. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Y'all I'm finna go. I'm finna go. I'm finna go. Remember what I said, though. There is no other. I love you guys so much, and I'm finna get up out of here. Bye-bye. Tell the Lord thank you, because it's, it's going to be all right. Bye-bye, y'all. Mm -hmm.